G'day, welcome to Partaker's Think Spot at the start of a new week on Monday the 18th of July 2011. Matthew 11 verse 28 to 30 records these words of Jesus Christ. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Are not those some amazing words? Not just anybody could say them. If the person who said them couldn't actually fulfill that promise, that would be one of the biggest hoaxes in all of history. But Jesus Christ, the man who said those words, is no hoax, and he is able to fulfill those words and live up to the promises he makes. Jesus Christ is totally trustworthy. We naturally don't like to ask for help. Not once we're out of being as children anyway, because we're trained as children to be independent and not to rely on anybody else for anything ever. But this is contrary to what Jesus is about. To rely fully on ourselves for all things is to walk by sight and commit the sin of pride. To rely on Jesus and ask him for help in all things is to walk by faith and with humility. True independence and freedom comes from being dependent on Jesus Christ and not being held back by anything or anyone else such as family and our own wealth and possessions and even our own pride. How are you doing at the start of this new week? Maybe you are feeling desolation and regret caused by decisions made some time in your past. Give them up willingly to Jesus, and don't keep trying to take it back like a security blanket. Are you feeling abandoned and lonely? Let Jesus encompass you in an embrace of compassion, and let the Holy Spirit, who lives inside you if you are a Christian, give you comfort and counsel. Or perhaps you're feeling tired, burnt out and burdened. Let Jesus give you the strength to endure. Give that burden to Jesus and let him take the weight for you. Maybe you need to make a major decision and don't know what to do. Seek the wisdom of Jesus in making that decision. He will help if you ask. That's all part of Jesus being Jesus. It may well be that you're being overwhelmingly tempted to sin against God, another person, or even sin against yourself. You can't resist for too long if you do it in your own strength, because you will eventually succumb to it. But if you ask God to help you overcome the temptation, He will do it. If you allow Him control and use your own self-control. After all, self-control is one of the evidences or the fruit of the Holy Spirit working in you. We all get those feelings of regret, desolation, abandonment, loneliness, despair, burden and temptation. Feelings are important because they are part of the human experience and if we didn't have them we will be merely mindless androids. But feelings can also be very misleading. As Christians we have to take it by faith that Jesus is there for us through those times. Call him, he will come. Because you are lonely doesn't mean you are alone. Because you are tempted doesn't mean that you have already committed the sin. Take it by faith that Jesus is answering your desperate cries for help and he is helping you. Take a few seconds now in this short silence to hand over those things to Jesus and ask him to help you. Or it may just be that you're starting the week and you are feeling great and enjoying that dynamic relationship with God. Then keep going and keep on letting Jesus be your strength, your wisdom and your help. 
but don't keep that to yourself. That would be selfish. Go to others you know who are in need, helping them where you can with an encouraging word or helping to supply their need. Be the practical and imaginative answer to their prayers. Go into this new week confident that Jesus is able to help you in every situation you face. Ask him to come to you and he will, just as he has done for countless millions for the last 2,000 years. Thank you.